Many people suffering through this winter's misery are depending on food deliveries like plain cheese pizzas. But Jim Axelrod is at one of New York City's newest pizza places to show us how it's serving up a slice of originality big time. Hi, Jim. He is. Well, good morning, Gail. I don't think anyone is going to confuse Marta, one of restaurateur Danny Meyer's newest spots, where we are this morning, with your neighborhood pizza joint. Meyer is the entrepreneur who recently took his hamburger chain Shake Shack public quite successfully, and now he's got his eye trained on another comfort food, pizza. Classic up for the table. This is not your father's pizza, and certainly not your grandmother's. On Marta's menu, instead of pepperoni, it's soppressata. Rather than garden variety mushrooms, cremini. A garnish of arugula, pizza a la carbonara. With egg, of course. Truffle oil, all wood fired to a crisp finish. We're just trying to pay close attention to seasonality. We're paying close attention to execution. And we're pushing the envelope a little bit on what classic pizza toppings are. Seasonality, execution, this is pizza we're talking about. Nick Anderer is Marta's head chef. Basically, you're making it fancy. I also try to stay away from fancy. I think what we're doing here is comfort food, and we're just trying to figure out a way to make, you know, grandma's cooking um, just that much more accessible to a wider audience. Anderer fell in love with pizza while studying in Italy in college, now running his own kitchen at Marta. His take on pizza would never be confused with Domino's. Were you at all thinking, are we sure there's a market for high concept pizza? We knew that it was a risk. Risky because for the past hundred years, pizza hasn't changed very much. America's first pizzeria opened in Little Italy in 1905. And from there, this cheap and simple dish spread everywhere Italian immigrants did. By the 1950s, cheese and pepperoni pies had become an American takeout staple. Today, we eat more than three billion pizzas each year. Is that the hut? Hashtag delish selfie. But now, pizza is getting a makeover. America's largest pizza chain, Pizza Hut, served the same basic pies for more than 50 years. But in November, they debuted 26 new ingredients, including spinach, sriracha, and cherry pepper. And it's elevation and it's evolution. Adam Platt is the food critic for New York Magazine and a man who loves his pizza. Oh, yeah. What is it about pizza? that Americans love. It tastes good. <laughs> Fresh baked. Not uh, complicated. It, it, Pizza's got that. Pizza has mm. that like unctuous, like addictive quality. Platt says these trends are often less about changing tastes and more about clever marketing. There's this great arms race to try and make things interesting to a generation of eaters, which is really more and more discerning. They know what a good pizza is. They know what a good hamburger is. They know what a good croissant is. And so, you're, you know, in, in this day and age, you're just trying to get people's attention. And that's where Nick Anderer, Danny Meyer, and Marta hope to win people over. If it's a highly accessible food already, like burgers or barbecue or pizza, make it as good as it can possibly be. Meyer made his name in fine dining, but he's making his fortune in comfort foods, building Shake Shack, an old-time burger stand, into a $1.5 billion brand. Comfort foods, believe it or not, are more of a challenge to present even than, you know, food that you've conjured up that nobody's ever tried before. You're not just trying to meet Danny Meyer's standard, you're trying to top grandma. It's a really, really hard thing to hit that magical line of having somebody feel like they went out and they came home. A tall order, perhaps, to create high-concept excellence out of something you can find in every downtown, strip mall, and shopping center in America. If we nailed it, if we did this right, there's no way that somebody could come in, taste it, and say, this isn't delicious. Not that they would come in and say, this isn't delicious, but they might come in to a New York City restaurant and say, pizza? I can get this on the corner. We're just continuing the conversation. Pizza has been an evolving thing for now close to two centuries, and we, we just want to keep that alive. All right, so this is pizza a la carbonara, and this is Copa Coda. Each one of these pies 
run you about 18 bucks, meaning you'd have to cut it into 18 slices to get a little closer to the cost of getting Domino's to your door. We'll leave the choice of which way you'd like to go there to you. Nora? Right, Domino's Thank you. makes you hungry, doesn't it? Yeah, Domino's is good pizza, but that's $18 well spent on those pizzas. Absolutely. Good. Pizza. Yeah. Nice uh, piece. Very nice. All right.